All right, so about a year ago, I gave you my best stock pick of all time. Now, this was all through market turmoil, all through that Christmas Eve disaster, and the stock is at all time high. So if you missed that video, here's a quick clip of it. The stock we're gonna talk about today is Starbucks. From the lower left to the upper right, it goes up. So this stock is getting ready to bust to all time highs and it's about to break out. It's gonna go up, up. This is what stocks do all the time. That was awesome, right? And let me tell you something, it is not too late to get into Starbucks. It is a long time hold. Buy it, put it in a drawer, and forget about it. So I'm about to give you my next greatest pick. Now this one is a wild ride, and that stock is Tesla. Let me show you why. Before we jump into that Tesla trade I was telling you about, let's go ahead and finish up this Starbucks trade. Now right here, mid-2017, I was this is where I was saying this could be the next best thing. This is going to be my favorite stock of all time. And if you want to see that video, I'll click the link right here, right here, somewhere in the video or even in the description. But to continue on, we was talking about this consolidation period. And why was this so major? It was three years of consolidation. It's finally breaking out going this way. And this stock, I feel in my opinion, is going much, much higher. It is not too late to jump on this train. Okay, this, it's not too late. All right, it's just breaking out and we're gonna probably see something like this that started in 2015 or something like this that started in 2013. So boom, consolidate, boom, consolidate, boom. Okay, so now let's talk about Tesla. All right, so this is the weekly chart of Tesla. And as you can see, this thing is up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Nobody's making money, man. This is the definition of chop city. You buy here, sell here. Buy. Nobody's that good, okay? If you if you love to trade, this is the stock for you. But we're going to buy. Well, I am. I'm going to buy and hold this thing. I'm going to buy and hold once something happened. Now, let's go ahead and get rid of this chop because it's all over the place and open up a monthly chart so we can kind of see what is going on. We look at it better, get rid of all that chop. We got rid of a lot of that chop city and now let's talk about how I'm going to trade this thing, man, because we have a couple of periods of, just like Starbucks, up, down, up, down, up, down, a consolidation period, but it's very wide. We're talking 75 to 100 points on the up and the down and the up and the down. You'll go crazy in there, right? And then here we got another set of ups and down, ups and down. It just doesn't know what to do, okay? Don't listen to the news. Don't listen to nothing. But we're going to talk about something really important about the news, okay? But let's focus in on the charts. So let me tell you how I'm going to trade this thing. You can't just jump all in. We're going to wait for the breakout above this line right here. Basically, the all-time high. When this thing is going all-time high, gets that all-time high, you can kind of slowly start accumulating slowly because a lot of times it likes to retest that breakout and then shoot higher but how i'm gonna trade it but since we have well-defined lows right here i'm going to wait until it's in this area here let me clear that up for you a little bit wait until it's in this area right here and just start nibbling, just start nibbling. Buy a little bit, buy a little bit. Kind of hang out there, and when it's down there, you buy. Don't sell when it's up here. Buy when it's down here, and then when it breaks out, you can slowly buy more even. All right, so buy here, accumulate. Up here, buy more. <laughs> As it's going like this, we want to start Accumulating, 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 because we, it's, it's going to go much, much higher. Now, one thing that, it's, it's a curveball with the stock. This is a crazy stock, and it really depends on Elon Musk being the CEO. Okay, he's the CEO, but SEC, everybody's trying to throw him out because he tweets like crazy and just does wild stuff. You might turn on TV and see him smoking a joint. Okay, so if this man loses the ceo job all bets are off i don't know what the this stock is going to do okay it, but it's not going to do what it's supposed to do all right so he needs to be ceo of this company all right so 
Um, so let's let's just wait. Now this right here, let me clear this up for you again. Clear. Right. So this period right here, this was a one, two, a three year period. It took a while for it to resolve. Kind of like Starbucks. So this right here, we already reaching, we already at the two year mark. The two year mark is chop chop and it is eventually going to resolve itself to the upside or the downside since the overall chart is going up i'm going to say it's going to resolve itself to the upside so that's what i'm playing for that's what i'm going to wait for so when this reaches all-time highs where's my 52 week high 52 week high 387.46 when this reaches 387.46 it's breaking out it's breaking out but be patient because a lot of times it likes to go like this and then go like this before it goes like this. All right. So look at that. Look at me make a drawing. <laughs> anyway, so. All right. So that's it. Let's keep an eye on Tesla. Let's see what this stock can do. Let's see if it can give us some riches. <laughs> and this is my next best thing. And that Starbucks, man, keep, keep buying that. That stock is it, it, it's solid. It's paying a solid dividend. Solid. All right, so I hope you liked that video. And let me give a, a couple of disclaimers. Remember, this is just what I do. Don't follow me. I'm a crazy truck driver. This is entertainment only. You, if you follow me, you're probably going to lose some money. But you didn't last time. Anyway, so um, this is my photography channel. This is EMIP TV. I'm not going to be doing this on EMIP TV. This video is also going to be on my new channel, which I actually had a while, but I'm going to start making videos over there. And it's Trading Scared, okay? Ooh. Trading Scared, I'll put that link in the description. If you like this video, go to that channel and subscribe and click the notification because I'm gonna do more videos like this on that channel and kind of keep this channel clean. Let's keep the photography thing and the trucking thing going on on this channel right here. Also, um, this same video will be over there and the same video will be on Life Like I. All right, just this time only. All future videos will be on the Trading Scared channel. So please go to Trading Scared like it, put the notification up, and we'll, we'll talk more stocks. I make it fun. I make it fun, man. This is, this is fun stuff, all right? So um, I like doing technicals. Hey, we'll talk about that over there. All right, so thanks for watching. Hey, I got to do a video about EMIP and tell you where I've been, okay? Tell you what I've been doing, all right? And um, of course, I got Life Like I. That's uh, Deborah and I's channel. All right, so um, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you like this video. Uh, 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 check out more videos like this on the Trading Scare channel. Um, I see you. EMIP TV's out. Um.